Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. We have got our young hunters here. Um, we do need to mark tons and tons and tons of territory. I really didn't want to go to sleep again, but I do want to have a full bar of energy before we go marking because that's going to be a very, very long way to travel. I'm just hoping that we don't lose too many hexes because some of them were quite weak. I don't know. Specimen Falls is like kicking our butt with that right now. No, actually, we didn't lose any. That is awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. Okay. Feather is like eyeing down that moose a little bit. I don't know if she's wary or if she wants to go hunt it, but we will not be doing that. Okay, so we need to take them around the territory and then we might end up hunting a little bit. We need to get them some experience. Actually, they're pretty good on experience. I feel like they'll learn. They'll learn as we go about, you know, marking the territory and everything. All right. And then I tried to find out. We're going to head this way. Nope, wrong way. We're gonna head this way. I tried to find out if there were hunters <laughs> uh, during the young hunters quest. Like, human hunters, I mean. Um, I don't think there are. I got some contradicting answers when I, when I googled it. So, I don't know. I don't think there are. But... We're gonna find out because we do have to go up in that area to mark territory, so... I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> we ended up going a completely different route than what we set off on. I was gonna head north, I headed west instead. Because, as you can see, there was suddenly a hex invasion. And even though this territory hex is like kind of far out from where... You know, we our whole much of the territory is, I guess. Like, it's just, it's kind of like out there. I'm going to take it back anyway. Not take it back because it is still ours. I don't know if it's Specimen Falls or Geode Pack that's doing it. Oh, actually, did that just turn not too recently? I, I didn't notice that. I think it might be Geode Pack based on that little red one there. But later, I can't see it now, but I know there's a ton of rendezvous sites right where our hexes are kind of almost the weakest. So we actually need to take quite a bit of Specimen Falls territory. That way when we have our pups next year, we can actually not be in the predicament I was in for the pups of this year. Because literally, I was stuck with like a very little places to go. Let me see, where are they? They're quite slow. I noticed uh, they're, they're not quite as fast as adult wolves, nor should they be. They're young hunters, you know, they're, they're not fully grown yet, even though they kind of look it. But they, they don't quite keep up. <laughs> but this will be their first official fight, so we'll see how they fare. I don't expect them to completely jump in. I just hope there's not too many wolves. Oh, yeah, this is the one. He can't try to claim a hex while it's being invaded. Cool, cool, cool. My bad, my bad. But yeah, I plan on taking quite a bit more territory. Most likely from Specimen Falls. Kind of like branch out just a bit. To have a larger territory. I think I heard them howling. That way, when we have our pups next year, I have like a bunch of... Oh, here they are. And there's four. Okay. Okay. I want a bunch of, like, rendezvous and dens to choose from this time. Who is this? Okay, hold on. This is our first time meeting Specimen Falls. Okay. None of them are, what do you call it, the leaders. So that's good. They do have some pups with them. That's great. We need to not bite those guys. I think they're weaker, but also I think the other ones will, like, try to kill us if we attack their pups. So I haven't looked at their, what they're, um, colored, so I don't know. We're not anyone bronze, even if he's white. Or she, actually. Actually, let's name the boy bronze, then. 
bronze. I just find it so much easier to know who is who when I actually have... What do you call it? When I have like a name. I can't- I can't do all the numbers. I can't see anything but numbers. And I- I don't memorize nobody that way. Okay, and we'll call her... We've done quite a few names now. I gotta think of something that I haven't done yet. We'll name her Toad. Toad and Bronze. I'm not gonna name the other two because I'm running out of names. <laughs> oh, okay. I attacked a pup. <laughs> That's nice. Where are my pups? Oh, got me. I do not want my pups to get too hurt, though. I'm waiting for who... Oh, nope. Bite you. I need to watch... Okay, Feather is going after the pup, though. We'll go after Bronze here. Maple's... Feather and Toad are having, like, a little standoff way over there. I think we're definitely gonna win this fight. My pups are a bit more... Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Snow Snow has my back in fights, apparently. <laughs> Ooh, bite him. I don't have the... Jeez, this is so confusing. No, wait, who's who? Not that I can bite my own, but still. No! Feather! I don't think so. You better leave my pup alone. <sighs> leave her alone! I don't have the stamina. I need to check on my other one. What are their healths at? Oh no, Maple's at 60. How soon should I send her away from this fight? I do not want her getting killed in a, in a freaking territory fight, you know? Get off, Snow. Where's Feather? Where's Feather? Okay, she's good. She's good. We're gonna go after this pup. Oh, that one's on the run, actually. That was either the yearling or the subordinate. Give me that. Who else is it? They're on the run. We're not killing nobody, that's for sure. I want to get everybody on the run. I can't believe they abandoned... Okay, I was about to say, they like abandoned their pup there. This one is kind of trying to come back for the pup. Oh, no, no, no. You better leave Maple alone. I didn't even notice that before I was able to bite. They're heading off now. I think that was pretty good. That wasn't bad. It's definitely hard. Maple took some hard hits. Feather, not as much. Maple is the one that was kind of like in the thick of things. She was being attacked probably like three wolves at a time. While Feather had towed off in like a little corner and they were kind of like, like sizing each other up, you know, using their emotes more. But Maple, she was- I, I think she might be a lot more bold, where Feather might be more cautious. I'm thinking we should probably rest now. Because Maple is probably- she probably wants to heal up. So we're gonna go ahead and go to sleep. I'm gonna let her heal. Oh, she's so cute. She wants to be close. <laughs> she did really good, though. I feel like that would have been good for the experience, too. Oh, look. I had a minor injury. I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they definitely gained some experience there. And then now we're going to see how much our territory changed. Not too much. Honestly, it doesn't change as much, I feel like, as it used to. Because before, I would be, like, not wanting to sleep. Because then, you know, it would be, like, horribly changed. Okay, sometimes that music messes with me. I'm like... Why is it... Why is it... Turning into some weird thing? It's not weird. It's, it's nice. But, you know... It messes with me because I'm like, what is this new music? Is that danger or something? Because that's usually what I associate the music with is danger. But no, I think it's just like running with like the young hunters. We're gonna head... We're actually gonna... Kinda head deeper into their territory a bit. There's Buffalo Plateau dispersals up here. They're far from home, but they are dispersed, so, you know, that makes sense. 
If we can, I'd like to just quickly get a mule deer so we don't stay in this area long. I feel like a mule deer would be a bit quicker. And I don't want... I don't want Maple to get even more injured on a hunt, you know? But we're kind of heading far out. Wah! Quit running. I wonder if she found anything. The dispersal. If she found something to hunt. Probably not. This might be... Okay, is this is this mule deer? What is this? Grizzly bear! Oh. Sometimes the colors look so similar. I really didn't want to head too far out into this territory. But we're not really... The, the, the scents are coming from left and right. I don't even know. I'm not even sure where the tracks would be. I'm not sure which way to head. Okay, now we're like further in this way. Oh boy. I don't know if I should take this or not. <laughs> I think right now we'll just focus on hunting. Oh, oh, oh. F uh, mule deer. Okay, good. I was like, please don't let that be moose because it looks so light. Okay, here they are. Here they are. Get out of view. And... Bite. Need somebody to catch up. Oh, this is a fun. They look so similar. To the mothers now? I, I honestly didn't notice that it was even a fawn. Oh, don't hit me. We're not too hungry, so I think this would be enough. Uh, everybody is like... Well, yeah, everybody's pretty well going in. Feather... I mean, this mule deer mother doesn't really stand a chance. Ow. Because we're all just kind of tearing at it. Oh, I got a bruised jaw, but we took it down. Yeah, she really didn't even have a chance. It's so much easier to hunt with everybody. Even if the year, the l pups and everything, they don't, you know, do a lot of damage. Wow, that did not feed as much at all. Wow, that was a lot less than I thought it would be. Like, at all. <laughs> but even if they don't do as much damage as, you know, they will when they're older, they still do a lot to confuse the the mule deer, like the mothers and stuff, when you're going after their fawns, they do very well on creating a chaotic situation where she doesn't even really, like, know who to go for. And she turned. Wow, this thing is, like, really good at evading. There you are. Didn't even know it was being chased. Wait, is there another fawn that it had? No, I don't think so. The mothers are definitely a lot faster. I'm not even sure we'll be able to catch this. I don't know. Sitka's pretty fast, too. I think that is a fawn. But we're gonna go after the mother, actually. Because we need more. Ooh, snow's good. They haven't even caught up yet. Understandable, you know. But they're about to because this one has got stuck on rocks. And neck hold. Maple was, like, so close and watching. I think she's stuck on a tree. <laughs> oh... I got stuck too. One day I'll let them go more for the hunting while I kind of take a safe distance. But for now, I really don't want them too injured in case we're going to be fighting any other wolves while we take over their territory. There. That ought to feed us a lot better. And as for its fawn, I think it had a f an another fawn. Um, good luck, buddy. Ah, oh, she wants to play. You're so cute, but I, I am still a little hungry. <laughs> She's like, why didn't you play with me? She wants to play. <laughs> That's so sweet. Whoa, you're going too fast there. How am I supposed to chase you? So stinking cute. I love when Snow does it. She's so playful. You got Feather and Maple just kind of like sizing each other up. I don't even know what they're doing. It's good to take little fun breaks every now and then. 
And then as for this territory hex, um, are we gonna take it? Are we gonna take it? I don't know. I wish I could see where the rendezvous sites and dens are, but I can't. But I know about, I know they're, they gotta be like right over here. This is like mountainous. So they gotta be more to the left here. So you know what? We'll go ahead and take it. Just in case. If we don't want it later, we can always give it up. We were so hungry, we finished off a mule deer fawn and a doe. That's so crazy. We're gonna do a pack rally. Okay, back to marking territory. Hopefully we don't get attacked as we take over Specimen Falls. What I really want to do is I want to push Specimen Falls into like taking more of Geode than taking over ours. I want them to head south, not east. So we'll see how well they listen. And I feel like we're going to have quite a bit of trouble with them. I, I really feel like we will. So, if they decide to take us over, or try to anyway... Oh no! Like now! Well, we'll just have to show them who's Boston, huh? Where are they? Maple knows where they're at. Right? No? I thought she was looking at- No, Maple, you're wrong! They're this way! How many are there? How many are there? Let's try to use our emotes. Only two came. Well, that would be a mistake. Nope, Toad's here. And who else? Oh, and another one. Hold on, before we fight. I'm guessing one is the leader. Yep, we got a pack leader with us. We're gonna name her. And we have a year- No, wait, no. We have another pup that's now with us. Wow, she should not have brought a pup with her. Okay, what should we name her? Hmm, what should we- oh, I know. Pinecone! And... Blade. Like a blade of grass. <laughs> but I don't want to name him Grass. Okay, there we go. So where is- there's Pinecone. <laughs> That's why I like having names, like, there's Pinecone. <laughs> as, as she's attacking us. We're gonna go after her. It might be easier to scare him off with some of the others, though. Oh, no blade. No way. Okay. Ah! Pinecone's got me. Pinecone's got me. It might be easier if we go after... You. That's going after my pup. Ow! So oh, no, that's snow. I'm not even biting on. I was like, who the heck is this trying to bite me? Oh, Feather, be careful. See, so, yeah, I need to keep an eye. Okay, okay, they're actually still good. Get off, Snow. Oh no, are both our pups? Where are you? Get away from Maple. Our pups are here. Snow, I think, is being ganged up on. Pinecone came after me because I've got her pup. It's the only pup here, so I'm really going after it. Feather is ha almost half health now. Hold on, where is our pups? Get away from our pups. Oh no. <laughs> I think a fox is over there. Don't get caught up, buddy. Do not get caught up in this fight. Who else we got? Pinecone's going after Maple. I need to send the pups away, I think. Where's Maple? Okay, we'll fit them to tell them to back off from- Leave Maple alone. Maple, you need to go. Okay, I think I've got her gone. Maple, that's not gone. How am I supposed to do it? Okay, they... Woo! Good thing, too, because Maple was getting low on health. She's 35%. I kept trying to get her to go, but she wouldn't leave. I couldn't read it. We were like, see, that's the kind of the hard thing. It's in the middle of a fight. 
and so I couldn't really read what the heck it was saying. I had no idea what it was like. I don't know. I might have to go back and watch that, actually. We don't want to fight anymore. Don't fight anymore. Especially you, Maple. Gosh, that's hard, though. It's really hard fighting with, like, the pups and stuff. Having to keep track of everybody. Making sure nobody's getting too injured. Trying to, like... Uh, it's I'm only one wolf, you know? And I've got two pups to look after, plus my mate. But mainly the pups. Snow's a, an adult. She can take care of herself. And she's very experienced. She's been doing this for a while. She knows how to fight. She's actually, I think, a pretty good fighter. When she wants to try. <laughs> she's really good in like fights like those. And she's really good at hunting. Where she lacks a bit, I have noticed, has been when we're supposed to be guarding the pups. She can, she can watch the pups a little too closely. And not watch the predators enough. But other than that, I think she's honestly, she's pretty dang good of a mate. So I, I, I really struggle with watching over the pups during those fights, though. What is that? A moose? Why are we finding so many mooses? Mises. <laughs> I'm joking. I know it's not, I know it's not that. <laughs> okay. We really need to go up and take one of those. Where's their home hex? Where's the home hex? They don't have one yet? Oh, wow. Weird. Do I have a home hex? I don't. Oh, yeah. Well, you won't have a home hex during this season, will ya? Oh, wow. Buffalo Plateau. They've completely dispersed and I didn't even notice. Oh, that's not good. That's not good because then we're going to end up having uh, another pack come in south of us. So, yeah. That's good, I guess. <laughs> Not good at all. Alright, so we've done a ton of marking. We still have so much to do because it's such a large territory. But we have marked all the outer, except this one. <laughs> For some reason, I did not get that one. But whatever. And then... I got so injured while I was running around. Because whenever I was running, I came across this rock and I was running and it just launched me over it. And I, I literally flew through the air. It was so funny. Okay, anyway, we do need to hunt. Oh, thank gosh, it's this way. Um, I'm not going to be letting Maple hunt. If I can help it, if I can tell her off, it would be good to kind of practice that. Oh, actually, they're right here. Are they already running? Or did they just know they've just been crossing this area? I was like, what? Okay, Maple, how do I... Is it another one? It might be another one. Oh, that's what it is. Go to safety. But I think that's the one I'm using anyway. Isn't it? Favorites... Go to safety. Yeah, it is. Then why is she... Go away, Maple. You're not a part of this. I feel like she's just staying closer to me. Maple! Honestly. I'm telling you, I don't understand. Am I not doing it right? Why won't she go to safety? I know she can't go on like a rendezvous point or something like tall grass or nothing like that. Obviously, she's going to stay still like near us, but she's literally in, like the middle of the herd. I want to go for a doe. I want to wait to see if one falls, maybe. Okay, now where is she? Where the heck is Maple? Okay, there she is. I think she is maybe like hanging back a bit. I cannot see anything. Do not attack that buck. Do not attack the buck. I need to get a little closer in case one falls. I don't want one with a baby, I don't think. If I can help it. I don't want to worry about... Oh, no, no. Snow, where are you going? Be careful. It's a very rocky area. I'm surprised one has not fallen yet. 
I'm trying to keep them away from the bucks, but the bucks are like so slow. Snow's trying to go after one. I don't want any bucks. I really don't. They're way too strong right now. I don't want to get us injured. None has fallen, but we'll go after you. Ah, one's fallen. No, I missed it. Oh, it's a calf too. Wow. Yeah, Maple is staying out of it now. That's good. That's very good. I need her out of it. Move. Ow. Feather, be careful. Be careful. It's very hard to kind of like maneuver around it because there's the creek and rocks and everything else. Oh, I don't want to be that close to the mother. Move! Okay, Snow's got the mother. And me and Feather's got the calf. Ooh, that was close. Whoa, it's on the run. Stay out the way, Maple. Oh, I know the mother's right behind me. Oh, no, she's actually kind of like standoffish a little bit. Oh, she got me there. There, we got it. Okay, we might need more than this, though. I forgot I was wanting to not go for a calf. I'm gonna let Maple eat. I'm pretty full. Maple definitely needs to eat. There, she took a bite. That's good. And so did Snow. I'm gonna make sure... Okay, I think everybody's full. Yep, okay. Then I'm gonna eat another bite. There's still a bit here, so we're gonna go ahead and howl. Mark the carcass. We'll probably leave this episode off here. I swear, I think we're getting pretty dang close to being done with this quest. Because if you see... We've already marked 19 of the 10 required border hexes. And then Maple is already 63 pounds. She only needs to get to 80. And then you have to earn full XP, which the lowest one is Feather at 74. And so pretty soon, I feel like we'll be moving into the next quest, which I believe will be finding a den again. Hopefully a different one than what we chose last time. <laughs> Where are they going? I think, oh, there's a fox there. And Maple and Snow are after it. I think a fox... I don't think the fox is going to take our kill, guys. But <laughs> anyway... I will see you guys on the next one.